with Colin Hutchison, Chief Executive of Scottish Athletics. Colin, we're talking today about the future of Grangemouth Stadium. How concerned are you about the future of the venue, which is under threat of closure? Yeah, like everyone in the athletics community, we're extremely concerned by the news that's come out from Falkirk Council. I think one of the biggest concerns for us in this situation is although the report talks about the possibility of asset transfer, when it refers to those facilities, if an asset transfer option isn't found, the next step is uh, the closure of those venues. I think what we need to bear in mind is the asset transfer of a small community hall is completely different to talking about the community asset transfer of a major sporting facility. So the likelihood of a community group being in a position where they could take on a facility like Grangemouth is extremely low. So it's really, really important that ourselves, the community, Falkirk Council and the national partners work together to make sure that the future of uh, Grangemouth is safeguarded. So what can the athletics community in Scottish athletics, what can they do to support? In terms of the instant action at the moment, there's the survey that is out through Falkirk Council that we've been pr promoting through our social media channels. That closes this Friday, so we'd urge everyone in the athletics community in Scotland to go in and complete that survey. It's open to, to anyone to complete, um, so you don't need to be a Falkirk resident. I think with the facility at Grangemouth, we're aware that it's used by clubs way beyond, and athletes are way beyond the boundaries of Falkirk Council area. So really important that they put their views across as well and make sure that Falkirk Council um, and elected members in that area are aware of just how important this facility is to the sport nationally. So well, as we know, it's important on a local level and a national level, and that's across competition, training and education opportunities for coaches and, and, yeah. and officials and so on. So how important is it that it's saved, Colin? Yeah, I think that's maybe the, the difference with Grangemouth compared to a lot of other venues. All those venues are extremely important to the local clubs, the local community and to the training and infrastructure of facilities in Scotland. But with Grangemouth, it's fair to say that it is our key track and field facility within the central belt of Scotland. It's our national championship venue. The majority of our championships are, are, are held there. And as you touched on, it has actually importance beyond that as well. It's used for coach education, it's used for uh, officials education, and it's one of only three hundred metre indoor training spaces we, we have now as well. So it's impossible to underestimate just how important saving Grangemouth is to the future of the sport in Scotland. We know it's vitally important to the local clubs. We know that 2.8 million people in the country can reach Grangemouth within an, an hour's drive. So that shows the importance of it logistically and uh, strategically for the sport. And for Scottish athletics, it's been the home of all the champions we've seen delivering medals over the last two years have all competed there in national championships and it's vital to the future development of all athletes in the country that Grainsmouth is, is saved and as I say we can't underestimate that it's not just important for us in our community this is something of national importance for for the future of sport. Thanks Colin. Thank you.